you are here happy thursday welcome back to michael's and miss creative ceo presents the creative <coughs> boss collective tonight we are featuring a fabulous artist tonight but first of all since we have some people in here that are new y'all roll it up in the chat how many people are new here how long you've been here have you seen have you been here before let me know what i'm dealing with in the chat you new Paris. Okay. Glad to have you here, Paris. I know somebody else is new. Come on. First one. Okay, mm -hmm. Anna. Okay. New from Indiana. Third time, Laverne. Thank you for being back. Well, let me tell you a little bit what we got going on here. This is a little bit different. I am Karen Baxter, aka Ms. Creative CEO. And what I am is an empowerment coach and a mindset mentor and a craft business bestie. I've been with Michaels. I am a Michaels national instructor and I've been with them for quite a while. And I talked with Michaels and I said, hey, I wanna showcase my community, the everyday crafter, the one that has kids and they're crafting between changing diapers and going to work and cooking meals and doing laundry in order to establish a business. I think they need to be seen. And Michaels were like, okay, sure, you're right, let's do it. And so I'm the first one to have a series of this kind on the Michaels platform. And I love the, the idea that Michael saw the value in what I was talking about. And so it's a little different setup. What we do is you can already tell it's a little different. We have some fun, we have some 
music. And we also interview the person on the stage tonight, our guest artist. We um, get to know them a little bit about their background so that you can see that you are just like them too, okay? And get inspired by what you see. Then we'll turn it over to that artisan and she is going to teach us what her craft is. And then we're just gonna have fun. You can ask questions, we can laugh, we can talk. It's just some a whole bunch of girlfriends kind of hanging out together, right? And that's what it is. It's a little bit different than what you normally, but then I'm different than what you normally find. So it's just natural, okay? <laughs> For those that have been here before know exactly what I'm talking about. For those that are new, you're in for a treat, okay? So we already know that we've got some newbies sitting out there. I wanna shout out to my community, my personal community, which is CBC and CBCIC, which is the Creative Boss Collective Inner Circle. Go ahead and roll that up in the chat. I need to know that y'all are here because the tribe always, tra we travel in packs, y'all. We travel in packs, <laughs> okay? And that is my private community. As I said before, I am an empowerment coach. I am a mindset mentor and I am your craft business bestie. And I have a membership that you can join and it's called a tribe where we really help you get your business together and get your mindset together so that you can take your business out of the back room into the boardroom so you can take that business to the bank and start making money with it, okay? And these people here are a part of my community and they come to support their tribe members and myself. And so I'm so very, very appreciative of them. So what we're going to do, of course, like we always do, is we get started with our little promo video. So we're going to hit that and let that run for just a half second. There you go, that's the little commercial promo to this series, okay? And as you can see, we have Elizabeth Aaron on deck for us tonight, okay? So pay attention, that's another, every, every week we give away two cards, two Michael's gift cards, okay? Two Michael's gift cards, I give them away. So pay attention tonight and stay till the end so that you can see possibly that you win, okay? Uh, let's add Miss Elizabeth Aaron. How are you doing, doll? Girl, I'm loving your hair. I just I'm doing good. Thank you. I need it up off my right neck. There. I want pigtails. I need my hair <laughs> up off my neck. I love it. I love it. So y'all, we have Elizabeth Aaron here of Girl Cave Creations, and she is a paper artist. She's done t-shirts. She's done a little bit of everything, but her passion is paper. And so we want to find out a little bit about her. So Elizabeth, Girl Cave Creations, tell me about, first of all, how you feel? How you feel about being here on the Michaels platform? <laughs> right. Yes, girl. Yes. <laughs> I feel good. Um, I'm happy that I was selected uh, yeah. to be one of the 12 women that come up and show what we really love to do. I, I, I love it. Oh, I got to stop these comments on my screen. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I am happy. I feel great. I do. I'm glad you do. do. You look great, too. I see Thank you got you. your Michael's lashes on, like me. We 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 put our Michael's lashes on because we gotta be cute. Because y'all know this is gonna be on YouTube. Y'all know this is gonna be on YouTube, so we yeah, gotta, gotta be cute. cute. <laughs> gotta be cute. So, <laughs> so tell me how you got into craft. How long you been in crafting? I have been crafting probably fifteen years. Fifteen. Probably years. fifteen years. So I what made you get into shows. it? I would go to craft shows and I just always wondered how, how something was made. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, I would buy it, pick it apart, put it back together differently. Like, like every craft. I can change that up. Mm -hmm. um, and then I went to a craft show down the house, down the street from my house one day. And I was just hooked. There were a lot of paper crafters there. Mm -hmm. And I just took off from there. And here I am now, Girl Cave Creation. I love it. I love it. So your first 
interaction with crafting was with paper. Is that the only reason why paper is your thing? Or do you have a thing for paper? Like, I have a thing for paper. I, I didn't think that a plain sheet of paper could make so much stuff. And then right. when I really started watching YouTube, going to the craft conventions and things people were selling, I'm like, you made that out of paper? Or wait, that started with this and I just, I could not believe it. And I was just hooked. I mean, hooked. I'm, I'm a slash borderline paper hoarder too, so. It's not you know. borderline. I've seen your stash. Oh, okay. So I'm all the way. Yeah, the just way. claim it. I'm like she way. literally has, y'all going to Michael's and y'all know on the paper aisle how they had the little things with the, the paper in it, the little shelves, the little, little wire things. The paper sitting in the paper rack she got the, the, yeah she got all that in the house those so are I would not say that you a little borderline Ma, no. <laughs> <laughs> i need those things i need those things i need all that paper look look la, la, la teresa i hope i'm saying it miss holloway i hope i said it right <laughs> she said child don't be shame i'm with you she said don't be shame and she said don't hide your face tanisha said don't hide your face <laughs> I love it though, but I love it. that's that's I've done other craft things, but paper is it's what it's I love. Amazing. I mean, I love it. Up all night, love it. Well, we see the stuff in the background that you've made. So let me ask you this: before you grab that, so is there a particular paper niche that you really have a passion for? Because you know you can do all sorts of things with paper. What's your favorite thing to do with paper? I love anything three D. Okay. I am not a smooth, if I make you a card and it's smooth, I wasn't happy when I made that. I ain't put no love in it. I made it in about 10 minutes. <laughs> I just, I just don't like a plain card. I don't care how pretty the picture is. If it's smooth, I just, I don't like it. Right. It has to have some texture, some 3D, some sparkle, something, mm -hmm. just something to grab my eye. So I just... I, lo I love 3D crafts. 3D crafts are your thing. Yes. And so how long did it take you to transition into 3D? You didn't just jump into that when you no. got into crafting. Mm -hmm. You just kind of. Uh, it took a while for 3D because 3D, um, 3D is not easy. It's not. So I ended up, I end up doing 3D. Um, if you know, if you receive Christmas cards from my mother, mm -hmm. she is my Christmas card bully. Mm. So she tells me every year, make my car better than last year. And oh, I wow. need more. <laughs> so then every year when I make her cards, I'm trying to outdo what I did the year before. Okay. So she, from her love and just wanting that, that has pushed me to keep going, keep going. And then I've seen cards that people have made. And I'm like, I can do that. Mm -hmm. But nine times out of 10, what I have vision it never turns out that way, but I love it. Mm -hmm. And people will think, um, that's not what I wanted my car to look like. I don't like it. I love every card I made, even if it didn't come out the way it was supposed to. Mm -hmm. So everything behind me, card wise, that wasn't the plan when I started those cards. When you start, well, let's but, see something, see some of those things that you made. Listen, your your best friend has let herself be known. Um, <laughs> is it, I'm saying it right, Lestra or like Lestra? Lestra. <laughs> Lestra. She says she has been slacking on the cards and her mailbox needs some attention. She just want to let you know on a national platform that you've been slipping as her BFF. Just letting you know. Okay. We're breaking up. We're breaking up this friendship right now. <laughs> I, I haven't. I haven't mailed a card, and she ain't the only one that's been in my box. They'll whip out the old card like, man, I got this a year and a half ago. I used to get, <laughs> cards. Feel, yeah, I used to get cards every three or four months. Why come out? I don't have a card. Or oh, sending pictures of an empty mailbox. I'm like, y'all so foul. This right, foul. right. Foul. Like crickets and cobwebs. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming and back. All of that. <laughs> and don't well, let see. don't let somebody get theirs before her. Then oh. it's a problem. Oh, yeah, then, that's a best friend oh, for did you. Did you see so and so post it? Yeah. So I've had none in my mailbox. Yeah. Yeah, that's the bestie back. for you. Keep they they back. do that to you. <laughs> Let's see what you guys see. Some three D stuff up there, um, and some okay, cards so that you have done. Mm -hmm. 
So that's a whole car. She made a whole 3D car, a truck. So I don't like driving cars. Those are for ladies. Ooh. Oh. I like a truck. So I went shopping one day for a vehicle and just couldn't decide what I wanted and decided to keep the truck I have. And I'm like, look, if I build one, I don't have a truck, no. So I built there you one. go. There you go. <laughs> look at that. She built a <laughs> whole a truck. truck. That is so good. Look at the lines and the creases and all of that. That is like really dope. So I every now it. and then I'll sit it on a table and put something in it. So I made 3D apples, um, pine cones, things like that. It was fall. So I put mm -hmm. it on that room table and I fill it mm -hmm. in the inside. That's it. That That's uh, it. Janet says, shut the front door, woman. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Shut the front door. Kiyoshi Green, I swear. <laughs> um, and I did no sunflowers. She loves it. Right. She said, I couldn't build a tire. No lie. My lighting ain't right. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's so a it's, flower. It's like eight, nine layers. And I did wow. a lot of them with a ladybug for a tablescape. I don't like plain tablescape or a tablecloth with pictures on it. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So I made these and I ran them down the table with some other things. Um, it. It some at a friend's appreciation uh, lunch we did for her. I love it. Those are beautiful. And I see the turkey and then the other cards back there. Girl, you're extremely talented. But then I know that. I know that already. <laughs> so it's time to show these people how extremely talented you guys, y'all are. Y'all ready to see her put some together? This whole vintage, vintage working camera yes it's a vintage camera so i'm going to put a camera together um and if you saw the photo wait it looks better than this camera i'm gonna take myself off okay which camera it looks okay here we go let me add there you go yeah. look at that so this is the camera that you've seen Mm, look at that. That is so pretty. So I kept it clean. See that? It, but... <laughs> Ziva says, do you create them from scratch or use a template? Uh, I created a template. I created some of it and got some of it from somewhere else. Okay. I love it. Okay, let's get started. Y'all ready to get started? Drop it, drop it in the... um. Chad, let me know you you ready. You ready to see see it happen? All the good. So happen. there are a couple people that'll be doing it with me. So yep. I'll walk through. Um, I'm gonna put them up on the screen right quick as spot spotlight. So Janae is gonna be working along with you, and so is Angela, right? Yep. Wesley. Angela Black. Uh, she has her camera on today. I want to point that out. Listen, look yeah, at her. She talking she about it. She does talking. not. <laughs> Hey girl, hey. Oh, that's what you look like. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> she said, don't do that. <laughs> and then who else is working with you? Andrea, if she made it on. Andrea, if she's on. BOD. BOD. Yeah. Yep, she is on. Let me see if I can find her. Andrea, you got to raise your hand so I can um, pull you up for a second. Okay, well, we're going to get started. You go ahead and get started. You have the floor, my dear. Thank you for walking with me, babe. Thank you. So the other day, me and a couple other ladies, we got together and we did the base. Um, we did the base off camera because trying to get it done in the amount of time, I wouldn't have been able to do the base, both base pieces and add all the layers. So when you start the camp, start it, you have this. You have the back here and it has this opening here in case you wanna put photos in it that you are not displaying at the time. You can always keep them uh, in one spot. So you start with this box and this is your top. This is where your, your pictures will roll through the slots here, but you won't be able to see the slots once we have it all decorated. So we're gonna start with the top. 
and we're gonna add the pieces there. Um, so we have the two layers here. And I use a glue that I ordered online and I love it uh, because it's really thin. Uh, one I'm gonna, of the things- I'm gonna ask you questions throughout, okay? okay. Okay. What are the measurements? Uh, I don't know the measurements of each piece because I've, I've changed it for when I first cut it. Okay. Because so I wanted it shorter. Got it. So, but this is something that you'll give in full detail in your class that's coming up, correct? Yes. Got it. Okay. Yes. So you'll find out RB, um, you'll get that if you take her class because she has modified it a bit. Um, you'll be able to take her class where she goes into um, detail about how to do everything, okay? And we'll give you that information. Well, they just popped it in the uh, chat just in case. Okay, so you're putting glue on. Yes. All right. So one thing about glue, if you put too much glue, your paper will wrinkle. Um, and even when dry, you'll be able to see the wrinkles in it. So it's better to not put so much and add than to put too much and take it off. Got it. So um, that's one of the things. And there are a variety of adhesives. One glue that um, I love, I love the paper craft glue. They sell it at uh, Michael's, they sell it at Joann's. But Is it I a don't- brand? Is it a particular brand? It's the uh, Elmer's. Elmer's paper, oh, there you go, uh, Gwen. You just asked Craft Vaughn fabric and paper yeah. glue from Elmer's. Yeah, but now that's not what I'm using here, but I still use it. Okay. Um, the, and the only reason somebody asked, well, why are you not using it? The only reason I'm not using this today is because I'm using my little, my small bottle because it has a, a really small tip. And this is too thick for the tip. It'll clog it. I tried multiple times. Please take my word for it. <laughs> Um, I thought, okay, well, I just did something wrong. No, it's too thick for that. So I'm going to, I'm putting the layers on. So when you build the base, you think to yourself, oh, that's not cute. True, it's not, but the finished product is gorgeous. So, um, got this and you can use it for any occasion. So this one has a theme tonight and you'll see the last couple pieces that I put on will tell you what my theme is tonight. Um, but you can use it for whatever you want to. If you are not creative, buy stickers. Um, the 3D stickers, you don't buy anything flat really. Mm -mm. <laughs> Y'all heard that, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't, don't do flat. We want texture it's, and it's 3D. Boring. So I put my layers on and the ladies are putting theirs on also. Let me see. And I laugh because Angela is using that uh, Gorilla Glue. I stay away from that, <laughs> but it's a good glue. I just right. keep thinking of that lady every time I think about it. <laughs> I keep thinking about that. Let's see uh, a little progress. There's Janae. Angela, let me pull Angela up a little bit and spotlight. There you go. So, yep. Yeah, so they have theirs on. So we have our sides on here. And then we have our longer piece. Your two pieces here. So, so <laughs> this just frames. Yeah, Angela has a... So this just frames it. It's just to give it some dimension. Was this cut with the Cricut in template? It could be you cut. Template to cut it from Cricut. I guess that's what she's asking. It can be cut on the Cricut or the Silhouette, either or. And she does have a template um, that you will give in your class, correct? Yes. Yep. You'll receive a kit to make the camera uh, prior to the class. So I have this on here. Um, and one of the things I like about this glue is it doesn't set right away. 
So you get a little wiggle room. But if you're doing something that you need to set immediately, it's not good for that. Yes, ma'am. Will all the pieces be cut in the kit you receive? Great question. Yes. All pieces will be cut. Uh, the instructions will have photos and the words. It's step-by-step -step photos. And then it's telling you what you're doing to get it to get it put together. And you have where you could do it on your own, <clears throat> or you can get just the kit by itself and you do it on your own, or you can take a class with you. It's either one that you want to do. Correct. You know y'all want to come to class. Clearly. Because y'all know you're going to be confused with all these pieces. <laughs> so I've made it so much that I'm okay. But I will say my first time um, completing it, and it's my camera, um, I had to step back a couple of times uh, because I had pieces. You need to put certain pieces on in a certain order in order not to... Uh, mess it up and have to take it apart because trying to take adhesive off paper, you might as well start over. Yeah, it's a mess. Um, let's try if you could go, just go click the um, website because it's a couple of different prices and yeah, go to the website and then check it out there, please. So it's here. So it's just giving us uh, each layer. And remember how I told you there's a layer that will cover the two slots? That is this piece here. Okay. So it covers it up and you won't see it. Okay. So it gives you that. And it's in two pieces. Um, it's easier if you don't put both pieces together before you add all the layers. Okay. All because right. if you're trying to move the whole camera around, um, it, it's a problem. Um, and one of the pieces of advice I'll give anybody, if you are working with paper, wash your hands first um, or wear gloves because the oils from your fingertips is going to leave prints on your paper. Makes sense. Can so, you use double-sided tape instead of glue? For some of it, yes. Most of it, no. Okay. If you can, if you want it to fall apart in about three months. <laughs> now that, that I'll tell you that. Ah, <laughs> so if you want it to I, fall apart, sure. <laughs> don't come in the room like, wait, why, why is my camera leaning? Like, right. Um, just because coming off. It'll eventually um, come loose. So I don't. I don't. I use glue for the entire thing, um, except for the film part. And I'll show you that. Okay. I use double-sided tape for that. That's the only thing I have the double-sided tape on. Okay. All right. So we have this here. I'm going to put the bottom piece. No, I'm not. I'm not going to put it on. So I have these two here. I'm going to sit those aside and I'm going to go to the bottom piece. I'm going to wait till I get ready to put my film strip in here before I add this. Okay. So I sit this here. And this is our bottom piece. Um, so this is your front. And the back is open for two reasons, to store photos. And when you're putting it together, you need to put your hand in here to be able to attach it. If okay. the box was closed, one, there's no storage. Um, but I've had uh, somebody ask me, why you don't close the whole thing? It's harder to seal if you don't have this hole where you can, and it's easy to just run my hands around the whole thing when I'm sealing it. Makes sense. So I have that, but it doesn't matter which part is the top, long as your opening is in the back. Somebody named Melly, uh, Melly7399 at gmail.com. <laughs> Melinda. <laughs> says, I'm so proud of you. I figured you knew her the way she said it. I'm so proud of you. I'm like, she got to know her. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> so um, we take out these. This is a side piece. So your side piece has two pieces, your base layer, and then a layer that you put on top. And it, <laughs> if you don't want both pieces, that's fine. That's up to you. <laughs> I can see the comments. Yeah, yeah. 
Sims. <laughs> seven five seven sisterhood. <laughs> Love it. So, um, I did ahead of time. I put foam tape on the back just because I wanted to stand up a little bit. So mention that dimension I, again. Huh? I said you like dimension again. So I do. I do. On the back. <laughs> I do. <laughs> um, so I didn't glue the red piece on yet because if you want to put anything on here, make sure you add whatever you want to add to this part before you attach it to the white. So when you're trying to press it down, it's not pressing down on the phone because I have a opening here and you just want to make sure it's firm when you're putting it on here. So okay. tonight I'm going to add a butterfly to the side. Um, uh, uh, outside of being a paper hoarder, I'm a sticker hoarder too. Let me just <laughs> go and fest that up before they tell it. Oh, in the you're chat. a crafter. It's hoarder <laughs> across the board. I don't think that there's like, it's synonymous. What's a crafter? What's another word for crafter? Hoarder. There's yeah. that. I mean, you know. I have some stuff. Like she but has a whole it. room. You you only see a, a very small portion in her background right now. <laughs> I need all this stuff. All of it. Said every um, single crafter. We need all of it. Yes. So on the side, you just add whatever you want to add. Um, if you were doing a baby, if I were doing a baby thing, I might put baby blocks or I might put... Um, baby stickers here, something that you can get from the store, but just make sure it's three dimensional because on certain parts of the camera, depending on the background of your paper, your sticker, if it's flat, it's gonna bleed into the paper, meaning you won't be able to see it from certain angles. So it'll mm -hmm. be like, I, I know I put a sticker on it, I don't even see it. So that's one of the reasons I like three dimensional items. Got it. Or you can add a little spark. Sparkle. Yeah, so I got these stickers from a craft convention um, I used to go to every year. COVID got folks not being able to watch that. <laughs> I stay in the house. So I just add my stickers on and I add them on before I put it on my white layer. And then that's what it'll look like when it's done. Awesome. I love it. So. I just add my glue. And I have a design for my other side, but I can't show that at the moment. Um, I'll show that towards the end. So I have both here. So I'm going to go ahead and add the other red piece here. And then I'm gonna put it out of sight. So you'll be like, why she didn't put it on? There's a reason I'm, I'm not putting it on. Um, and everyone will see. So the pieces here is what you see here. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. On each side. Gotcha. I think this is so cool because you can use these boxes as little gift boxes and put the box something on the inside and um, maybe get another piece of paper and cover up the back or you can do all sorts of things. Can y'all imagine doing this as like a baby gift and, <clears throat> you know, pictures of the baby coming out of it and have, that would be so cute or anything, a money box. That's a really good idea. Um, and then you can pull the money. Oh yeah. You can, you know how they take the money together and then you pull the oh, money yeah. out. That would be cute. That would be, I need somebody to give me one of them box and I want it to be all hundreds. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't ask, why gender not ask reveal. I, it might Go big or go home. Graduation gift, gender reveal, a yep. really great get, grad gift. Yep. <laughs> Um, Imagine if you were getting married and you got this and there was a little box in the back with your ring in there. Oh, girl. Yeah. Like he like you made it and all the pictures of y'all together throughout the relationship. 
Yep. See how we think. Now I want to go. Let, that's right, Tanisha. Make it rain. Listen, now I want to go make a box. <laughs> Lord knows I got enough paper to do so. You can never have too much because you know paper on sale this week. I'll be there. Oh, okay. So, and having it, having the insert here, I can put my hand in here and push it down. Mm. Works perfect. Mm hmm so I'm going to go ahead Ziva. and add. That's a great idea, Ziva. She said as a centerpiece at a reception or a party, and whoever the reception or party is for, you can have the pictures of them coming out of the box, which would be a nice takeaway gift for the guests to take home. That's This comes up with the, could be so many different things. It can be. It's not made just for one thing. So the one thing I want people to know is most of the stuff I do, I try to make it to where I could use it for more than one thing. Yes. Unless it's, I mean, some stuff you can't, but um, this can go for anything. Graduation is coming up. You have that. You can add a, a graduation cap to the top and give that to somebody. I think you graduated from college or high school That's and you get a camera you can have pictures in there. If you're the parent, you have the pictures from preschool on up. Mm -hmm. Imagine filling the um, film strip with those pictures. I'm sorry, I'm doing something off camera. Yeah. Imagine filling, filling the film strip with pictures from when they were a kid and all, they, all you do is pour that up. Mm, I love it. I love it. It's While a you conversation doing that piece. So... It's really nice to have. It's just for uh, different occasions. 50th year anniversaries. Um, you give that to your mom. She can sit it on a nice stand next to her sofa with the plastic on it. Yep. Let's see what you got. She said the sofa with the plastic on it. You, oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you know Let's see what you, you got, got Angela. You, got so, uh, you not, don't walk in here with your shoes on and you're going to sit and you don't wear no shorts on that sofa. Your legs going to stick. <laughs> oh i like that i like both of y'all's i like how janae layered hers too angela did you lay yours i can't see it's it's white and then oh yeah you did you got two different papers on it yep i see it okay so that's, that's one piece I'll, I'll show i'll put the other piece on last close super to last cute. okay so now we're going to do the front and the front is in three layers. Three. Okay. So you can't see the paper, but it has a little shimmer to it. Mm -hmm. And it's just to add to it. So one of the things, if your paper is too busy, yeah, you don't have too busy paper. Let's just say that. I, I've done one where the paper was really busy and it, it worked perfect on something else, but it didn't work great on the camera. Okay. So you have your three layers here and you just stack those and layer them up. Now in between the layers, I won't be adding foam. Um, I have before, I'm just not going to do it today. And I love it when it has the foam in between each layer, it just makes the camera stand out. Mm. Are y'all um, finding this interesting out there? Let me know. Negative space for this step of the process. Yep. Yay, I'm glad. We try to bring you stuff that's different, that gives you stuff to think about. Yep, I want to see what y'all do. You got to tag us and let, you, let us know what you're doing. You're amazed, Carol? I know, right? <laughs> So. pretty detail and if you guys the reason why you know the this is such an intricate thing um it was really hard to send supplies and all of that stuff or tell you what to get so you could craft along because it you know she's taking a, a few shortcuts because of the span of this class however if you see how the other ladies are working along she sent the kits to them so they're able to do it. So you guys uh, would be able to do it as well. 
Yeah. You're a paper person too, Ziva. Absolutely. Girl, you a yes, everything person. <laughs> and we did some of it the other day. Um, because cer certain pieces of the camera when I show you, we could not do here. It takes a while. Um, mm -hmm. it's just because of the glue and the way you have to put it together. Yeah. So this is the base of your camera. Okay. And then you put this on my little snowman. Okay. I was going to say that looked like a <laughs> snowman. It did. It looks like it a did. little snowman. So you have this piece. Um, <laughs> and then I just put this on here as well. My snowman. Put your, put your snowman piece on. That's right, Ziva. That was a smart mentor too. <laughs> uh. um, and make sure you Put it here. It doesn't have to be perfect from each end or side to side. Just put it in the middle. You're good. If somebody notices it's off, they're a little too close to your stuff. <laughs> and there you go. That's what you're talking. You're a little too close. So I have that here. Loving it. And then you're going to add your lenses. And this is the part that we did the other day because it takes a while. Um, I have not found a shortcut to doing the lens and I've made it many times. Uh, it takes the time that it takes because you have to do it um, slowly or it won't come out in a perfect circle. This is your camera lens. Look at that. It's like perfectly round y'all out of paper. So how long does it take lens. you to do all of this together? April wants to know approximately how long does the start whole thing Start to take? finish. Start to finish to put together from cutting to putting together two hours. And this is what takes the time. The longest. Okay. Yeah. This takes me the longest time. The two, these two take me just as long as all of that. Wow. Um because you're curving it as you put it together and you have to hold it. If you go too fast, it's coming to loose and it's going to rip. Mm. Yeah. So we're just gonna put these on. Y'all see all them little cuts up under it? I'll show you. Look, Angela said, my cousin is the bomb. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> so, so as you put this on, you're holding two at a time. You glue two. You hold it, you hold it, you glue two, you hold it, and you're doing that on each side. So here I have acetate, but if you don't want to use acetate, you can put a photo there. I have put a photo there before, or I have put um, little beads with star um, confetti. As oh, a that's shaker. real cute. So it's like a shaker. Yep. That would be really cute. Because it's sealed shut. So with the lens, you can do anything you want to. It, it's um, Or if you have one of those uh, tea light candles, mm -hmm. you put your tea light candle in here. You put it in mm -hmm. the back. Mm -hmm. But you have to have an opening here. You have to pop it up on foam dots. And it will sit on your tea light candle. Mm -hmm. And it makes a little light as if you wanted to use it for your flash. Oh, not a real candle. You're talking about one of those little op the battery, little battery operated. Yeah, I know what you're talking operated. about. Can you use hot glue? Kelly wants to know. Yes. Not on all of it. Um, I, would rec I would recommend using hot glue to glue the top to the bottom, which I will. And we're going to add flowers. I would recommend that. Um, I'm just getting over hot glue burns on my fingertips. I'm surprised. <laughs> battle scars, crafters, <laughs> battle scars. Oh, let me look at Angela's. Hold on, hold on. Let me put Angela's up. She has hers up. Look at it. It's so cute. <laughs> I love that paper. Angela, did you put the foam between the layers too? That It looks yeah, like, like three the dimension. Yeah, so hold it to the side so we can see. Yep, she has hers, the layers. I love it. Let's see where, um, let me find. Janae, I'm trying to find your, um, your uh, hands, your overhead. 
I don't see it though. Oh, there you are. I see it. Let's see where you at. There she is. Okay. You know they're working when everybody get quiet, you know that <laughs> working good. That's like when you're eating and it tastes so good, everybody get quiet because it's so good. <laughs> so then you attach it to the front. Pop my hand in, smooth down my tape. My phone tape. I got a big roll of phone tape, like big roll. Mm -hmm. I, I got it from my brother years ago. I have no clue where he got it from, but I love it. And um, I use that a lot. So it's coming together. Side here. I'll put this side on last. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to add flowers. And I'm going to, I have my rolled flowers already rolled but I'm gonna roll one on camera just so you can see what it looks like. Okay. So Ooh, that's pretty. I we like just that. have them rolled. So I see a lot of people, they'll do the shadow boxes and all their flowers are exactly the same. Well, mm -hmm. the bush outside my house, the flowers don't look like that. Right. So <laughs> I don't roll my flowers to be the same because I'm like, when I go outside or even if I'm not looking at Matt, I don't see any flower that's exactly the same. So when I roll my flowers, I roll them, I let them pop open a little bit, and I glue them. Now, I use hot glue on this, on my uh, rolled flowers, because I tried to use the 3D pop-up dot, and they came up, over time, they would come loose. So mm. whenever I do rolled flowers, I will use the hot glue. Somebody wants to know, did you make your ring? No, I bought this at the uh, women's show up in Richmond. Okay. I go up there every year, and they had it up there. Okay. No, no I did not. I don't. I don't know how to do no jewelry. I build <laughs> you some patio furniture, but I can't do no jewelry. <laughs> so I have a lot of flowers that I've done, and we're going to attach them to the the camera. So I want to show you a couple things. So when you are doing flowers and you are gonna have them in a cluster. You could either take each petal and cut it separately, cut it separately, or in your Cricut design, you can make them connect and cut as one, and cut as one piece. Mm. Mm. So if, because I'm gonna put my, because I'm gonna put my, flowers like this I'm going to attach it here oh. so the ladies are theirs is separate so it's just going to depend on where you want to lay them if you want to put them on separately like that but I wanted to show you two options I wanted to show you what theirs will look like put on without the cluster and what mine's will look like with it so you can just see the it's difference. basically going to give you the same effect Got it. So how, what weight paper do you use for the flowers? I don't use a super thick paper um, because I don't like it too stiff. So I might use an 80. Okay. I may use 80, um, but I don't go really thick unless I'm doing something like a sunflower and it's going to stay open. Got but it. when I do rolled flowers, I don't like a super thick paper. Because if you decide to roll your flower and you want to bend your petals out, I don't, the thick paper, I don't, I don't care for it. Even when I use a bone, um, I like the thinner paper if I'm going to do that. Got it. So, so I'm going to show you how to roll the paper. I'm going to show you using tweezers just in case you don't have the quilling tool. Um, and I'm also going to show you using tweezers because I don't know where my quilling tool at. <laughs> That's the real, that was the real thing. <laughs> Look, I, it's, 
I bet I found it this weekend when I don't right. eat. Right. After or right after you turn <laughs> off the camera, there it is right in front of your face. Right after. I'm like, right after I finish, I'm like, oh, so there y'all go. Uh, you know, stuff pop up when you don't need it. Um, right. So I'm going to turn my uh, hot glue gun on now just so it'll be ready. Um, is 65 pound too much for the flowers? No, it's not. Mm -hmm. So, got my tweezers. I don't know where who these tweezers from, but I love them. I love the angle of them. Mm -hmm. So, I got my row of flowers. Good, Janet. I'm so glad you are. And you put it here. But before I always start rolling, I take it and I just curve it just a little bit. So, put it here pinch it and just start twisting it. The tighter you hold it, it'll stay, uh, have a real tight coil. So none of mine are coiled really tight. Okay. So once I have it twisted around the tweezers some, I take my tweezers out. Two reasons, because I rolled one all the way and couldn't get my tweezers out. So I had to unroll it. Um, I had it rolled too tight. So then I just twirl it. Let me see. Until I get all the way to the end. Oh, that's too simple. That's just too simple. I thought it was something. To Let me go. No. Cut one. <laughs> Let me go. Cut so just, I want to cut just to make that because I really could. I okay. Y'all, are y'all fascinated like I am? I'm all in the screen like, ooh, and ah. And then the pedal is right there. The end of it is right there to make the bottom little pedal. Look at that. So y'all see that? Put your high glue right there. Right, right, Carol. Like, yes, it's fascinating to me. So high glue. Then you just turn it push it on there and push it down in the middle so it will all stick together. Y'all, listen, look at, look at, look at. There go your flower. Y'all, come on now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, Marjean. Then, I just pop it on a pedal. Normally you would put it on a bigger one, but I, I doubled some of them. So I ran out of the small ones. So then when you have all your flowers, you can lay right, them out Lori. on how, Lauren on how said you that want. Was I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's Lauren, okay, go ahead. Lauren just said that you did it much easier than she's seen on YouTube. Man, I don't have time for YouTube. Let me tell you how YouTube works. You watch uh -oh. YouTube, then you make it your own. Right, that's true. Right here, Girl Cave Originals. That's it. Right there, right there. I've tried to make all mine exactly the same. I watched the, the video. I took a class. The woman tried to help me one-on-one. -on -one, and then I came to the conclusion. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm I'll good. I'll figure it I, out. I'm and that's right always, here. usually that's the best way. When we as crafters try to copy everybody else, we get frustrated and ended up doing ourselves anyway. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, I got it. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Thank you. Thank you. Done. So I've never tried to make them um, uniform again. I'm just over it. So, so just you hot glue it together and offset it. Okay. Yeah. And it's just because I have two. And then if you have small pieces, you can put your small pieces in wherever you want them. So as you add your flowers, you'll see it from behind. Nice, very thoughtful. So now all you do is you figure out, how do I want to put my flowers on here? I just go from small on up. This one I won't have on here, it's too big, but I, want it, I made it just so you can see what it looked like.
and then I lay it. And that's it. I just sit it. I don't have a rhyme or reason as to where I put what where. But one thing I don't, I won't put a huge flower at the bottom mm -hmm. just because of what it's going to curve in to the front of the camera. Mm -hmm. so. so now I'm going to put hot glue down here. I'm going to wiggle it on and then I'm just going to stick my flowers on and then I'm going to attach it. When I attach it to the camera, I do use um, hot glue for that. Okay. So I'm trying to see. Um, somebody, can we find the? <clears throat> if you're not, yeah, okay, I think we're all good. Let's see what Janae's up to while she's working on that at Spotlight. Janae got her flowers going and she got her quilling tool. I see him. Yeah, she has her tool. <laughs> Let's see where Angela is in the process. Oh, Angela's trying to show out. <laughs> she adding rhinestone. She is showing out. Um, Angela is a paper crafter as well. Mm -hmm. um, she makes beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. And then Janae over there using her bone thing to curl the the petals out i'm loving it attention to detail Ooh, that looks good so this is all this is it in one piece oh that looks so pretty so now all I'm going to do is attach it to my box. Right, it is beautiful, ladies. I love it. Uh-oh, I ain't burned myself today. Oh, good. That's a win. I love hot glue, but I hate the strings that come with it. Right. Those things are... Hot glue strings the devil. is like glitter. Right. It's Two like days later, everywhere. you have... Like, where did that come from? While we are waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and do a slight commercial break. I want okay. to say thank you um, to all the groups that support... Miss Creative CEO in this movement that I have going on. And I like to shout out the communities that promote and say and bring awareness to what I'm doing and support the ladies here on the platform. So let's get started with that. I want to first thank the inspired paper community the, and understand that all of these communities are on Facebook. So if you want to join and get engaged with some of them, please feel free. And when they ask you the questions, you know, for entry, let them know you heard about it from Karen over at Miss Creative CEO and Michaels. Um, we also have Black girls who craft with Cricut, a Black woman made that, which is an official craft group. Mommy Grind, the Mommy Grind, Black Girls Craft, LLC, the Creative Brown Girl Community, the Lotus Group, CPNS Boutique VIPs, The Tea Talk, Mujka Clip Arts, Let's Craft and Sell, 
and the Way Speed Village. And also I wanna thank Misha Bazemore with Coco Twins. She also promotes very regularly uh, with that. So I really wanna thank these ladies because they are always down for the cause. And when I have things going on, they allow us to promote it. You know, a lot of these groups don't allow you to promote in their groups. Um, but these do for special occasions. And so these admins and leaders of their communities are doing big things. So it's an, we all support each other, even though we have separate communities on Facebook and doing our own things individually, it's really nice when the community comes together and acknowledges each other. So I wanna say definitely thank you to all of them. Go check them out. Okay, so now you're putting little dots the the foam dots yeah. on that okay i just put some foam dots on the on this while you were chatting i put foam dots so foam dots come in white or black as far as i know but i have only been able to order the black foam dots online i have not um seen them in the store okay and i ordered you can I've, there's a couple places crafts places you can order or uh i got them from joanne's but when I order them, I order a ton of them because I think everybody else is like me. Once we get our hands on them, they're not, they're always out of stock. Yeah. So when I order a pack, I order like probably 10 packs at a time. Makes sense. Order, so, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> under, the pre, uh, <laughs> under the pretense of I can't get them again, but I understand because I do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so this piece here that goes here, you can use this to add a name. You can add whatever you want to, want to add. Um, baby boy, the if it's an anniversary, what year it is, um, or whatever you want. It's just a piece that goes across the front for you to do whatever you want to do there. So I'm just going to add a strip of bling. Who doesn't get enough bling? Oh, and I forgot my own community. <laughs> The Creative Boss Collective, CBC. Thank you, Tanisha Lowe. The Creative Boss Collective. If you're interested in getting to know me and my tribe better and getting to be a part of something big that allows you to be yourself, no drama, nothing but love, and really helps you on your, um, on your journey to being a creative entrepreneur, you would want to be in the Creative Boss Collective on Facebook, okay? So make sure you guys go check that out. I'm in there. Yeah, I think you are. I'm a part of that. B-O-D. B-O-D. Like <laughs> I know it does, right? Like we're a gang. We kind of are, gang, gang. Yeah, you know, like we, we, we are in, tra we you know, traveling packs. Uh, B-O-D, for those of you don't know, stands for Board of Directors, Board of Directors. I'm a CEO, Ms. Creative CEO, and everyone needs a Board of Directors. You know, a CEO needs a Board of Directors to keep them in line. So I have about nine other women. It's a total of 10 of us, but nine other women. Yes. Somebody say, you need nine women to keep you in line? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes it's a good time though it's a good time <laughs> but we are we are friends we all became friends in the crafting community you know and when you know my business kind of went into the coaching arena they support me and I support them so it's one of those things where they're here and then like tomorrow Shalita has a class it's not on the Michaels but Shalita is one of our um, teammates, you know, we'll all be doing what she's doing for me. I do it for her. So it's kind of like we're, we're a team and then we do and support our community, our tribe, you know. So I'm just adding foam dots to the back. Um, I use a lot of foam dots. Matter of fact, I need to look at foam dot stock. So I'm adding foam dots to the back just because I want it to stand up. That's it, no other um, reason, personal preference. Janet, it is nothing like support. I'm trying to tell you. It's nothing uh -huh. like having support and people understanding who you are, what you do and why you have 10 pairs of scissors and why you can't cut paper and fabric with the same pair of scissors. It's nothing like having that, okay? <laughs> 
So I'm going to turn 50 this year. Woo! Listen at you. <laughs> so I'm going to put this fab O on this box. Right. So I went into the door yesterday and this woman told me she thought I was her age and she was in her late thirties. <laughs> you know what that's, look, you just love that, didn't you? You loved it. I did. I did. Oh I still want bad what she was selling, but I loved it. Girl, so I know Mary. Mary said when her husband tries to borrow her craft scissors for the kitchen, like you were, you ready? You gunning for a divorce, man? You trying to be in the doghouse? Like what? What? Don't you know? <laughs> like don't do that. So here you go. Loving it, loving it. And you can make rhinestone stickers, but I don't. I don't. Um, I try, and it's real tedious. And by the time you use a sale and a coupon and a door buster. And all right. the rest of that. Because I'm going to stack a coupon if I and a sale if I can. In a heartbeat. Um, <laughs> so it's because of us, um, Michael, stop taking competitors' coupons like that. It's probably because of us. Y'all need to quit that. Y'all know <laughs> I'll be wanting to use all the coupons I all have. All the coupons. <laughs> quit playing. So I have this one side done and I have my top um, done here. So what I'm going to do. The next part of this are photos that I have. Ooh. So can't wait to see those. Let's um see. I picked these photos uh just because you know she uh -oh. talked about her, her mailbox being empty. I should have made two rolls of film and not put her on here since her, her mailbox is empty. That I, did you see my eye rolls? I don't know if you can see it because of my eyelash. <laughs> I'm trying to. I think. So, I hear <laughs> so this is your film strip that is going to come through here. Who is that? Is that Lester? <laughs> 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 so this is me and her. Um, look, we went fishing. We went to the Christmas tree. She came to visit me, but she lives here now. Makes me happy. And this is her. Look at her. She like, you got me all on, <laughs> on, on like you got me all out here in these streets. She's trying to be modest and not cry. Lester, you know you want to cry, girl. Go ahead. You're amongst family. <laughs> and this is us on vacation. Let me, let me give you a quick rundown. We go on vacation all the time. And we Don't went to the Cayman Islands. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm right. Because you all Michaels. This is Michaels. Don't place. Tell us. This is my story. Okay, so. So we get these jet skis and I'm moseying along at speed limit. Lies you tell. And I look over at the distance <laughs> and Lester been pulled over by the water popo for speeding. <laughs> so I'm like, well, what happened? So I go over there see what's going on we're getting speeding tickets because she was speeding Five, and i got caught <laughs> 500 dollars speeding tickets and i i can't wow. say nothing <laughs> what a popo i am dead <laughs> so look we got a lot of memorable moments we've been sunburned together everything oh so my God. the man that gave us the jet skis didn't tell us we had to be behind the second buoy. So we didn't end up getting the tickets. But <laughs> we're everywhere. We're everywhere on vacation. Everywhere. On this vacation, I got a worm in my ear. And she a what? did. A, a worm. worm. A bug. <laughs> wow. Wow. We always got something going on. We always. Uh, always. Clearly. I we see. make your vacation interesting. We do. I love it. So you take me. You got all it. Now, isn't that beautiful? Like, I'm going to take you off now. So oh, she look. can show us how to uh, put it out. She just got you all out on national. Oh, right. On national, she likes me to work uh, out. Platform. And this is what you get when you work out. This is why I don't work out. This Man, is five minutes after working you. out. <laughs> <laughs> this, is why, this is why I don't work out. She worked out at the fit shop. I look, I, I'm fit support. I run the camera. 
she, she do the exercise. Support. This is after three minutes. <laughs> this three minutes. I, I, no, Liz, no working I, out for wait me. Wait till I see you. Wait till I see you. <laughs> That's what your best this friend does us. to you. <laughs> so I'm going to take you this, off, Listra, so she can get back to it. <laughs> so this is your film strip that you'll get two film strips. They're going to be big enough to go in here which is what this is. And they come like this, but they're much bigger. So what you do is you turn it over and you apply your film on the back <laughs> and you stick it together. And you have that. So when you're storing it, if you don't want your picture to come through, it fits there. So it's storage. So to put the piece on, and it may not work well today because it works best when it's been curled for about a week. And I made it today before class. Why? Because my printer was messing up. But you roll your film strip, you slide it in through the bottom, it comes out through the top. You know, and then as you work it, you pull it and it rolls. And it just goes in one, one big circle. Oh, look at that. Is that Lestra? So this piece is why we put it on last. So one of the things you do when you put your blue dots, make sure you put them all the way at the edge. Because if you don't, it's going to get stuck. So I'm going to turn it and I'm going to put it on here and then it'll roll through and it'll just keep rolling through and it'll make a circle. Now, if you don't want your film to roll, you put, you put glue dot, not glue dots, foam dots down here and you drop a picture in the top. As you want to change the pictures, you take them out the back and just change them up front and put whatever you want. Whatever you want to display at that moment, that's what you put in. And then it rolls. It just rolls in a complete circle. And then when you get to the end, you start it over. So I have two that are taped together to make the film strip of Lester, the card stock. Um, that's what I'm going to call you. That's what I'm going to call you. So this is the top. So I'm going to add it to the top. So I always attach my top to my bottom with hot glue. Um, that's just my preference. Um, I did it with other glue and it was fine, but it's my preference to use this. Or you can use a good uh, foam foam dots if you want. Wanna. Well, wait a minute, I'm trying to get the right angle. There we go. Now let's see what Angela has going on. Ooh, that is pretty. Oh, she added a butterfly. She did. Let's see. She has her pictures and everything in it. Now, y'all can't say that is not cute. That is super cute. Look at that. I'm loving that bling. That is super cute. So, it's just like that. Are the pictures printed on copy paper or photo paper? Girl, that is printed on some recycle from um, Office Depot paper. <laughs> Straight out my printer. 
<laughs> um, you can use uh, photo. I'll tell you this, when you use photos, it makes it a little thicker. Mm -hmm. So my preference is um, a good piece of white, white paper. But what you see here, that's photo paper. I mean, printer paper. paper, straight out my paper. Yeah, straight out my uh, printer. So what you just need to do is make sure you have a good printer to make, you know, print some good, you know, yes. um, pictures from it and it'll still come up good. Yes. So now here comes, here's my camera from the front. I forgot my little black rhinestone. That's from a push to make my camera activate. Oh, so. yeah. So it, I have it on this one. And it's just a rhinestone. That's, that's your it. little button to push it. I love that. Yeah. To, make your, to make your camera go. And then the small film that I showed you, mm -hmm. because I won't try to put uh, photos in there anymore, it's just, it's really tedious. Okay. I just put a piece of vellum paper here. Okay. Some printed vellum paper, and mm -hmm. I just put it across the front. Put it. What type of printer do you use? It is a, I'm about 10 years old Canon printer. <laughs> and when it stopped working, I'm gonna tap it on the side like an old TV and keep on moving. And it'll keep going. <laughs> so it's, it's old, it, yeah, it's not up to date. Yeah, it's, it's big too, um, but it's just, it's a Canon printer. Um, so I'm going to finish up my, camera and when I add the last few pieces take me off spotlight for a minute can you okay my my oh I'll move it no that's okay leave it there. well I'll I'll let I'll put the ladies up and they okay. can show theirs while you do your other piece to it Hands by like. Now, Angela and Adrian, do you guys are y'all gonna give them to somebody? You have somebody in mind that you want, to, or these are yours, and they can get I think their. I'm own. gonna give mine to my mom. Oh, she's gonna love it. You know, I'm just gonna put pictures of Riley. That's all she cares about. <laughs> right, <laughs> grandmothers only care about grandmothers only care about the babies now you know that's just what that is <laughs> once you have kids you're non-existent it's a wrap <laughs> so i um i don't know i like making 3d stuff and mm -hmm. my camera i'll do the camera the kids the classes um then i have my next project in mind so then I'll do that. Tanisha, it would be a great um, project for a group. Be really good. All right. I'm ready. Okay. Let's go back to you. The, oh, look at that. Look at that. Can I get it up on the thing? Add spotlight. Look at that. I wonder. So it's my girlfriend's 50th birthday. <laughs> and <laughs> she's a Delta. So there's her elephant. I and bet she's over there. Let me find her. Where is she? She probably turned. There she is. I was like, she turned off her camera. <laughs> so this is her. Oh, Delta, stand up. <laughs> <laughs> um so i could get away with putting the 50th on there because i was turning 50 this year so she wouldn't have known she loves butterflies so i added her butterflies i have that um and then it goes all the way around so then the inside will have photos of us i'll put them in here and stack them um and then there'll be a little compartment so this is this is a, a joke uh, that we have. So she gets this little trophy <laughs> for being for being my best friend. <laughs> so I 
have a male best friend. We go way back to preschool. Not your best friend. Okay, <laughs> not, he my second best friend. Let me get it right. I keep messing that up. So they get in an argument all the time over who's the best friend. So I went to Pandora. She gave me my first uh, Pandora charm. And I didn't want, I'm like, I don't want a bracelet. Why is she making me wear this bracelet? But you know, your best friend wants you to have a bracelet, your bad bracelet. Now, I, yeah. Charms Listen, everywhere. I started with Pandora and it's a, it's, it's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. So thing. she has the Pandora. Uh, we both got this little, oh, it's not both, but it's a, a championship. Yeah. Look, I don't know where it's at <laughs> anymore. <laughs> it's it's, it's a championship cup. And I gave it to her. I said, you know, you're the MVP, but don't tell him, don't tell him. You know, and then she tell him I'm a lie about it. <laughs> I'm it's, it's a recording. It's recorded. I'm telling. <laughs> I'm sharing a video. Tell Michaels to edit this. Yeah. Part out. Who the director yeah. of this film? Yeah. So, <laughs> so I got her this. Oh so the box also holds a gift. Oh, is that a Pandora charm that says she's fifty? Oh, where else are y'all going to get this at? Oh, I, hey, this is what we Love do you, here baby. in the Creative Box Collective. We do things for people. I love it. <laughs> but this is hers and it'll go in there. So I'll probably end up replacing one of my acetates with one of her 50th birthday party pictures. She turns 50. But this okay. is her. You're in so much trouble. I can see it in her face. You are in so much trouble. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. And then we'll have some uh, more vacation photos at one of these days. We'd be in all kind of trouble. But we had the best vacations. Just the best vacation. We never been to jail. So we good. I, so. I would think that that is a win. That would be it's a win. A win. <laughs> yeah, it a win. is. But we got it bail is. money. We got yeah. bail money though. You got a whole credit card set aside <laughs> just yeah. for that. Just in or case. <laughs> <laughs> when my mama end up on vacation with us, she hey hey, just make sure you come back here. That's what she tell us. Make sure you come back here, Liz. No broken your, bones. Don't get in no trouble. Don't get in no trouble. <laughs> but we are we all we have good fun. I can say that we always have good fun. I but. Love it. Tonight, mm -hmm. my camera that I made is for her. I love Thank it. Look, yeah, I want to see it up close. Let the people see it up close and personal. Isn't it beautiful, y'all? That is so pretty. <laughs> that is really pretty. That is definitely a keepsake. <laughs> Can you guys see yourselves making that? This has been inspirational. Now I want to go and make something for my best friend and, you know, and my mommy. <laughs> and everybody like and that's pretty that's really pretty she said she did angela said she's jealous <laughs> uh, that would be my cousin <laughs> yeah she said she's jealous let's bring them up let's see hers it's beautiful and then let me get um oh, that is so aren't, those are beautiful nice. i'm gonna take my background off so you can see it because it's disappearing into the background love it i love the bling oh nice yeah that's well, i didn't have all my embellishments i wish i did I already no. know you're going to get it, though. You're not going <laughs> to sleep till it. you get it the way you want to. I know you. I'm, I'm still rolling <laughs> flowers in there. <laughs> but yeah, so this is 3D paper. 3D so, paper is what I do. Now, y'all see what it. you do with 3D paper. You see how it's the same materials and style, but it came out differently how you can add your own flair and your own stuff going on. So how many in the, in the room can see themselves making this or learning or wanting to learn how to make this? Because if you do, I know I want to learn how to make it and I've got a ton of paper to do so, you know, no, Janae, don't, <laughs> I don't. I'm with Janae. Right, don't Let's work on this paper. <laughs> don't, Share the paper. Don't, don't. blink, blink. Share don't do the it. paper. <laughs> Angela. Share no. the paper. No, for what? Yes. Y'all got paper? 
Look, look y'all doing too much now. It's too much. Y'all doing too much trying to get into my paper. <laughs> We're hot today. We need her paper too. Right. Hot today's paper. Don't, don't. Okay. So we have up here, if you're interested in her class, I'm going to let you tell a little bit about your class. Um, Elizabeth, what you got going on? So um, May 22nd, I'll be teaching a class. Um, it's going to teach you how to build a base, how to put the lens together, and how to add the accessories. There will be a couple additional accessories than what you saw today, embellishments than what you saw today. Um, I didn't add those on there because my box was specific for her gift. So I knew what I wanted to add. I knew I wanted to add the elephant um, and, a lot, and I, because I knew that was her. So today's box was specific camera was specific to hers but I'll show you how to make the camera from start to finish um, that comes with the class detailed I'm there to help you uh, I will say and the ladies <laughs> will say too if there's a couple <laughs> oh you see she up on the camera <laughs> there's a couple pieces <laughs> that you can buy the kit and do it on your own good luck <laughs> good luck um, or you could take the class and I'm there just to help you um, get it done, make it pretty, make it presentable for whatever you, whatever want, to. you want to. You then can add um, different embellishments to make it a theme, a baby shower, a wedding, you know, things like that. Don't think it's just a camera for one subject because it's not. It's not. It's a conversation piece. So when she sits this out, matter of fact, you should put those, this in one of them display things so people don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't get close. Don't get close. But um, you could take the class and, and get all the details. That is um, my first class for the vintage camera. That's my it. next class is in June, but this one is next month. Um, so it. you can do the class or the camera. Y'all need to sign up, okay? Kelly wants to know how big is the camera? Like how tall is it? Let me tell you now, it's put together. 12 inches. 12 inches. Yeah, the top dog. and the bottom together. See, yeah, it, it was bigger, but it, it didn't. You can yeah. modify it how you want to modify it. If you want to make it smaller, you can do that. You can show them how to modify it if they need to or want to. Or yeah, that type of thing. So there's a tremendous amount of things that you guys can do. So there is a code. She has a discount code. It's Michael. So when you go, make sure you type in Michael's and get your discount code there. And yes, Lysha, she did. She got you. She got you. So y'all going to have a discussion after this, I'm sure. Absolutely. So, <laughs> a nice little chat. <laughs> nice little I made chat. this. I shouldn't have to make cars for two years. Right. Two there years. you go. There you go. I'm sure All she right, ain't trying lady. to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really hope. I let's take you guys off of this and put this up here. Let me ask you this before we um, start the closeout, Elizabeth, what doing this and starting your business <clears throat> in Girl Cave Creations in paper, what would you tell the people that are interested in learning how to do this? Because you guys can actually make this and sell this to other people as a prop for their, their, any of their occasions or whatever, you are able to sell this and make money on it. So what is it that you would tell people if they want to start a craft business? What is that thing that you want to leave them with? If it has to do with paper, I buy more cheap white paper than anything. The first few times I made the camera, I made it out of white, plain white paper um, to make sure I got it right. If you are starting crafting, don't be upset when you start something and it doesn't look exactly how you think it should look when you don't be upset if you don't, if it doesn't turn out exactly how you thought it would when you started. Many of my things don't. Some stuff has to, but most of my things, they do not. So I used to get mad at first and, and I would start over. And then I'm like, man, that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. I can tell you every Christmas card probably I made for my mother, 
the finished product, that's not what I wanted when I started. But I was happy with it and so was she. So don't get mad when things don't come out exactly the way you think they should. I like that. Um, it means that you gotta be flexible in business and in crafting. Sometimes things are not gonna go exactly the way you want it to go. But sometimes the accident that you come up with is actually a beautiful thing. So you got to allow yourself grace, show yourself grace, um, do your best. I think your, your uh, advice to get cheap white paper, start out instead yep. in here. I know every, and we make a joke out of it, but we as crafters are saying, we're going to run and go get paper. We're going to run and go get paper. Well, before you do that, go get some cheap white cardstock paper and get it right. So you're not wasting your good paper. See if you even want to make this and then go buy all the good stuff, right? Yep. But yep. give yourself a chance and give yourself grace and time. She has been doing this for years, okay? You're ju just starting. So don't expect that the first time that you're doing something for it to come out exactly like hers or these other ladies, because these other ladies are paper crafters as well, all right? Mm -hmm. So it's, it can be done with a little guidance and direction, but don't get mad at yourself. Crafting is supposed to be calming and soothing. It's supposed to be peaceful and just fun. It's supposed to be fun. So don't put so much pressure on yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. Don't put so much pressure on yourself and just have a good time. And if you are interested in taking your business to the next level, then get the, get, what would you say to them if they're trying to take their business to the next level? Um, one, join CBC. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> let, let, let this is going. I'm just going to throw know, that in there. Put it out there. Um, if you were taking it there, one, do your research and don't copy everybody to the T. Well, you have people that you follow. But if you're copying someone else exactly, your stuff will never turn out exactly like theirs. Mm -hmm. Use them as motivation, um, but be your own. I am, nobody can be Girl Cave like Girl Cave. And she is off the chain. She is. You can't, you can't do me better than I can do me. Okay? No, you can't. You can't do you me. Can't. Look, and I can't if you're do, gonna you do it as a better business, than you can do yeah. you. If you're going to do it as a business, be serious. Take notes. I take a lot of notes. I Google. I still watch YouTube videos on things I know how to do because you never know when somebody might show you a way to level up something simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So you don't. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I think that's about it. Um, if you want to find me or get to know me or work with me, you go over to MissCreativeCEO.com right there, MissCreativeCEO.com, and you can find out more about me, Karen Baxter, um, and you can also find out how to work with me. I have courses and classes that if you're interested in taking your business to the next level and going from a hobby to a real business, not just to a hustle because we're business owners. It's not a hustle. It's a real business. Okay. If you're interested in doing that, then I'm going to need y'all to go and find me on misscreatorceo.com. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram and on Facebook um, so that you can join us to all of those who have come again. I think this is our number. What is this? Number five? No, this is number six. We're halfway through. Um, our series is a 12 part series. So we got six more weeks to go. Um, and next week we have this beauty right here. This beauty right here, Adrienne Janae Singleton. She will be here with us. And you see the earrings that she has on her ears. You're not actually, those are paper. Those are paper earrings, y'all. Paper. All right. And so she will be with us next week, teaching us how to make these beautiful paper earrings, okay? And that's definitely something that you can sell very easily and be very creative with it. And she is gonna show us how. If you are interested in getting the kit for next week, you really need to go to the website, Miss. You can go to Michael's um, to sign up. First of all, make sure you go and sign up 
for um, the, the class. And if you want the kit, the link is in the, the description to get the kit. She'll ship it out to you ASAP so you'll have it in time for next Thursday. And you're actually going to be able to make these earrings and have them ready to go for you and be super cute. Okay, so make sure you do that. You can go to Michael's or you can go to my website, misscreativeceo.com. Look at the top and click MCC and Michael's and all of my classes that we have going on will be there. Okay, and then also probably within the next 48 hours, this video will be up on YouTube or on michaels.com for your review. And before we go, I almost forgot, I have my uh, Michael's gift cards to give away. So team, uh, that would be Shalita. Cause she has, cause Janae is usually Janae and Shalita, but Janae was working today. <laughs> she was playing today. So Shalita, what we got? Okay guys, in the beginning, Elizabeth talked about glue and she said um, she had a favorite glue. What was the name of the glue? So I'm gonna go with Ziva. Gorilla, oh, no, shit. <laughs> Uh -oh. It was definitely not Gorilla Glue. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Far you away said from you didn't that. Like it. <laughs> the hair. <laughs> so Ziva is the winner. It was paper craft glue by Elmer's. So we'll give that to Ziva. The next question is, what does she use to add dimension to flat pieces? Um. Nicole S. Nicole S. The answer is foam or foam tape. Right. So congratulations, ladies. You guys are, are the winners of the Michaels gift cards. And if you would be so kind as to message me directly here in the chat with your mailing, your full name and mailing address, and we will get those cards out to you as soon as possible. Congratulations. Go ahead and Go ahead and do that immediately because we're about to close out. And once we're closed, we're closed. Darman. And we don't want you to miss Who anything. Darman today? Say again. I got it. I got it. It's oh, okay. thank you. Um, so y'all, let's go. I want y'all to have. Why is my um now if they don't send their address as I suggest for the past five months? Uh, we can get these gift cards out alphabetically. And I'm so good. you're trying to say because yours start with an A, 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 two A, they come to you first. That's what that is. Thank you. That's so Thank thoughtful you. of you to take that hit. <laughs> That's so thoughtful of you to take that hit. Okay. Y'all, I want y'all to have Thank everybody for watching. Thank everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Come back. Y'all see me this time. Same place. Same time. This oh, time next look. week. I want to see y'all. Thank y'all again for a great night. Have a great night, y'all.